Hi, welcome to ERP Next tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create its sales transactions like sales order, delivery note and invoice in ERP Next. On receiving order from the customer, create a new sales order. You can create new sales order by entering details manually, or you can also pull details from the quotation. Enter quotation ID. We have most of the details in the sales order fetched from the quotation. Enter expected delivery date. Select a warehouse from where you will be shipping this item. Once this sales order is submitted, quantity of this item will be reserved in this warehouse. Let's save the sales order. To check preview of this order, click here. This is a preview of your sales order. Once a sales order is submitted, you can create delivery note, sales invoice and advance payment entry against it. When actually shipping items to the customer, create a delivery note from sales order. We have all the sales order details fetched into delivery note. Only keep the items which are being dispatched in this shipment. For rest of items, you can create another delivery note from sales order. Also, enter exact quantity of an item being shipped. For the serialized and batched item, select relevant details in this section. Let's save and submit this delivery note. On submission of a delivery note, stock of the items delivered will be reduced from our warehouse. Also, expense will be booked for the items delivered. Check stock and accounting ledger entry to check impact of this delivery note on stock and accounts. Now let's check how to create sales invoice from a delivery note. Sales invoice is an accounting transaction. On submission of a sales invoice, posting will be done in the accounts like receivable, income, taxes etc. Let's assume that this is a cruel sale, and the payment will be received at a later date. Select an income account and cost center for this item. Select taxes and charges applicable on this invoice. From here, you can select a receivable account in which outstanding payment will be updated. Let's save and submit this invoice. Check accounting ledger for this sales invoice from here. On receipt of payment from the customer, payment entry will be created from this sales invoice. Customer details will be fetched in this section. Enter amount received from the customer as a payment. The payment amount will be allocated against the invoice in the below table. Enter deductions if any, like difference of ale due to currency exchange rate. Enter payment acknowledgement details here. Now, we can save and submit this payment entry. Once full payment is received from the customer, status of sales invoice will be updated as paid and status of delivery note and sales order is updated as completed. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. For more details and free sign up, check erpnext.com. Thanks for watching.